So we, we are here this morning, and I, I want to make this clear, we are here this morning in order to present Caribbean people's response to the comments made by the President of the United States, Donald Trump, last week when he referred to the nations of Africa, of the entire African continent, the Republic of Haiti, and the Central American nation of El Salvador as shithole countries. We are here to present a Caribbean people's response to those statements. And I want to let you know at the very outset that we are not merely speaking on behalf of the Barbadian people. We are speaking on behalf of Caribbean people from French Guyana, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, Dominica, St. Lucia, St. Martin, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Haiti, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua and Barbuda, Jamaica, Bermuda, Martinique, Guadeloupe, and Venezuela. And I, I don't say that idly because we have been mandated by citizens of all 17 of those countries to speak on their behalf this morning. The Caribbean people have drafted a declaration that is directed at President Donald Trump of the United States of America. I'm going to read that declaration and I wish through you, the Barbadian news media, I wish through you to ask all of those Barbadians who don't understand or claim they don't understand why conscious black Barbadians are calling for the removal of the Nelson statue. Those Barbadians who don't understand or claim they don't understand why conscious black Barbadians are asking that the Queen of England be from our position as head of state of our country and one of our own be placed in that exalted office. We are asking those Barbados who don't understand or pretend they don't understand when conscious black Barbadians are offended by Government of Barbados is granting outrageous privilege contracts to a coterie of, 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 of traditional white businessmen and women contracts that they would never dream of giving to black business people. We want those Barbados who don't understand or claim they don't understand why Conscious black Barbadians protest against the system of double standards in this country where in relation to the granting of planning permission, one law applies to the majority people and another law applies to a wealthy and privileged minority. We want all of those people to listen very carefully 
to this declaration of the people of the Galilee. And I'm going to read it. It is a declaration that was authored by the Pan-Africanist and Socialist Popular Forces of the Caribbean Nation of Barbados at Bridgetown, Barbados on Saturday, the 13th of January 2018 and submitted to the people and civil society organizations of the Caribbean for their endorsement and let me say here that hundreds of signatures have been coming in from all over the Caribbean just between Saturday and this morning. We are going to present a document that has attached to it the first 200 signatories. But I want to let you know that those are only the first 200. There are many, many more than those. This is the title of the declaration. It says, United States President Donald Trump has been declared persona non grata in the Caribbean. And the statement says as follows, and I quote, we the undersigned representatives of the sovereign people of the Caribbean hereby declare that President Donald Trump of the United States of America is persona non grata in our Caribbean region. We further declare that as a persona non grata, President Donald Trump is not welcome in any territory of the Caribbean. And we hereby confirm that we, the Caribbean people, will petition our governments, vehemently protest against any Trump visit, and engage in popular demonstrations designed to prevent President Donald Trump's entry into any portion of the sovereign territory of our Caribbean region. As sons and daughters of the Caribbean, we hereby affirm that the continent of Africa is the revered motherland of a sizable majority of our people and that the Republic of Haiti, the seminal architect of the destruction of the system of chattel slavery that held our ancestors in bondage, that Haiti is the foundational cornerstone of our Caribbean civilization. And we therefore consider that any insult or attack that is directed at the African continent or at the Republic of Haiti is intrinsically an insult and attack that is directed at us as well. We further affirm that we Caribbean people, in light of our history of experiencing, resisting, and surviving the most horrendous forms of enslavement and colonialism, that we Caribbean people consciously regard ourselves as champions and defenders of the dignity and fundamental human rights of all black or African people, and that we are guided by an overarching and non-negotiable principle of zero tolerance of any manifestation of anti-black or anti-African racism or discrimination. 
It is against this background that we, the people of the Caribbean, have determined that by describing the nations of Africa, the Republic of Haiti, and the Central American nation of El Salvador as quote unquote shithole countries, US President Donald Trump has committed a despicable and unpardonable act of anti black, anti African, anti brown racism that has served to further energize and fortify the vile white supremacy system that the said President Trump has self-consciously sought to champion and lead. We, the sovereign people of the Caribbean, hereby declare to the entire world that we vehemently and unreservedly denounce President Donald Trump and the evil and inhuman white supremacy value system that he represents. That is the text of our statement.